Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. As- Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The Honorable Dean of Faculty of Medicine, University of Lampung, Dr. Dr. Evi Kurniawati, Esket MSC. In this occasion, represent by Dr. Indri Windarti, SPPA. The Honorable Our special guest lecturer, Dr. MSJ, assistant lecturer of biochemistry from 2020, and all my beloved friends here, the medical student faculty of medicine, 2022. First of all, let's ask praise to our God. The only do we worship and the only do we ask for help. Second of all, a warm good morning. I would like to, sh- to say to greet to all ladies and gentlemen here and the warmest welcome. I would like to say to our special guest lecturer, Dr. Andre Karoli Kristof, MD, PhD. Welcome to the Faculty of Medicine, University of Lampung. Such an honor to have you here today as our guest lecturer. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the Public Lecture Faculty of Medicine, University of Lampung about the biomolecular aspect of obesity by Dr. Andre Karoli Kristof, MD, PhD. Let me, Mutiara Chesha. The third is the discussion, and we will continue with the Q&A session. But before we start, this public lecture will start by a pray. Let us pray together, lead by Muhammad Umar Abdullah Al Farouk. To Muhammad Umar, the time is yours. Sebelum memulai acara pada pagi hari ini, marilah kita tundukkan kepala, hati, dan jiwa kita kepada Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala untuk memohon keridoannya. Agar kegiatan kita hari ini diberkahi dan bisa berjalan dengan lancar Bagi yang muslim izinkan saya untuk memimpin doa Dan bagi yang non muslim dapat menyesuaikan A'udhu billahi minasyaitanirrajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Ya rabbana walakal hamd walakal syukur Allahumma salli ala muhammad Bil awalin wal akhirin Allahumma ya Allah ya Tuhan kami Dengan mengucapkan puji dan syukur kehadiratmu Atas segala rahmat dan kehadiran pada masyarakat dan negara kami Ya Allah ya Rahman Pada pagi yang berkah hari ini Kami hendak menyelenggarakan acara public lecture biomolekulami Dan jadikanlah itu semua bernilai ibadah dan nilai ilmu yang bermanfaat kepada kami Amin, amin ya Rabbal Alamin Wassal- Amin, amin ya Rabbal Alamin The next agenda, a welcome speech will be delivered by the Honorable Dean of our faculty Represent by Head of Department, Dr. In- Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh First of all, let us pray and gratitude to all Prophet Muhammad. Welcome to our medical faculty, uh, uh, faculty of Lampung. Uh, we apologize that our dean is at Swiss Bell, so not attend this public lecture. So I substitute her to open this public lecture. Truly an honor for our institution uh, to host this public lecture with the uh, biomolecular aspect of obesity. Interesting lecture. This part, the participant of this public lecture is all of the students of grade, uh, the second grade and the fourth grade of the of uh, Obesity is defined as um, abnormal and excessive of fat accumulation that may impair the heart. Uh, so they, uh, the obesity can increase the metabolic, such as type 2 diabetes. Uh, this 
epidemia, hypertension, and skeletal disease, various type of cancer. So even molecular variation. And over the past decades, in the, uh, the development of the molecular technology, maybe some studies have proven that several genes are associated with the obesity. I understand following research update of uh, become the professional who have hands providing for to the organizers very interesting topic obesity. Village to have such an expert to be among so we encourage you all to obesity during the Q&A session at the end of the session. Please make sure you keep your questions brief to the ladies and gentlemen. Before we dive into the lecture, the lecture will be held by our moderator, to Mr. Andi Eka Yunianto SPDMSE. The time is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning all. Let us thank to join. Uh, thank uh, you for your attention and participation. M. Title R. D. Carol Christoph, medical doctor, uh, philosophical doctor, position assistant professor, institution, in, institutional University of Debrecen, University of Mendenburg, Debrecen, uh, 21. Christoph, uh, mobile phone, maybe uh, next student, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Plus three six three zero eight two zero one seven four five and the P postgraduate master University of Debrecen PhD University of Debrecen Molecular Cell and Immune Bio Biology Doctor School job history five year last uh, twenty 17 uh, until 2019 assistant lecturer at Department of Biochemistry and Bio Molecular Biology Faculty of Medicine University of Dublin 2019 until now assistant professor at Department of Biochemistry and Biomolecular Biology Faculty of Medicine University of the Bridgen, membership of professional organization Hungarian Biochemical Society, position in professional organization secretary of the Council of Student Research Society for Medical and Health Science University of the Bridgen. Availability of abundant thiamine determines efficacy of therm thermogenic activation in human neck area derived adipocytes and neck area derived human adipocytes and human abdominal subcutaneous 142108 Five obesity risk alleles exert a lower thermogenic capacity. The biomolecular aspect of obesity uh, by Mr. RD. Time is yours. Thank you very much for and maybe. Thank you very much once again.
fat accumulation way to quantify all the body mass number quantify body comp problem with obesity not standing alone factor of several other propagates go together increased mortality and morbidity and decreased quality of life so therefore it is an important to investigate obesity and to find uh, molecular targets by which we can ameliorate the threat uh, so if we calculate 18.5 and 21. In this case, can moderate amount of fat accumulation causes BMI is between 25 or And if the BMI is obesity, and we can see, and if and we can see, and if so the problem is that the prevalence prevalence of obesity is uh, Getting higher and higher, the sedentary, sedentary life, especially increased in the most dramatic way, right? Because, of course, the adipose tissue, which uh, is responsible to for uh, fat, test, test weight, that can cover. Is quite uh, found in white adipose, as other white adipose molecular machinery it that due to the action of this UC these mitochondria will not produce so many ATP humans have less but still if we are found larger next to the Helps enzyme reaction protein from the fat from the glucose uh, in case of uh, alpha fat conditions, and all of these generated fat. Can, so for that, white adipocytes are given by the glucagon hormone or epinephrine. Whenever it's here, white adipose fat. A very safe way. Uh, however, unfortunately, that uh, then, but they are basically update robust uh, uh, dysregulate into metabolic. Interestingly, don't have fat. There are cases genetic disease. Cases that can up, particularly don't have white adipose. Uh, patients with light lipodystrophy, really because that at scene. And because the individual at safe and proper. That will circulate and accumulate unwanted fat in the body. They will also develop. So you can see that one problem, either in body like in the lead, cardiac, that will dysregulate the function problem happening. That tissue are not all designed. Was discovered that uh, adipose an organism, leptin, later on covered like adipone. And for the adrenal cortex, 
Now we know that adipose hormones, muscles, called myokine, also liver cells, autokine, and so lives like endotype. of the uh, homeostate of the tissue. The brown and beige are different. They produce production can be important. In a healthy adult, action of adipose can burn four kilo at every year and Activity. Excess. Excess. Body. They are active, regulated, and, for example, by cold, not so. Top side. And also physical act or or he can large amount burn fat. Their major function is thermogenic. Scientific. Many therefore they need a lot of they take up fat thermal metabolic nor like stem cell like cell brown or beige adipose. Certain hormonal stimuli. However, these are have only a moderate activity. They need to be stimulated. They are stimulated, as I mentioned, either by cold, physical, or dietary. Some of these stimuli in the sympathetic nervous system, starts in norepinephrine, bind, are uh, three. That would result in life and, and utilization of the previously stored fat. And the generated fatty acids are used either as a fuel to maintain thermogenesis, or some of these fatty acids are elongated and bind to the UCP1, and that will make the UCP1 in a biologically active form. Because the UCP1 works as a long chain fatty acid proton carrier in and Due to the uh, oxidation of fuel molecules, heat will be produced instead of a synthesis. Also, this signaling event will uh, go into the nucleus, will result in phosphorylation event, certain transcription factors. Factors I will mention the uh, uh, inexpression of uh, our group also worked with us and found that uh, if we activate the adipocytes, we can prevent the removal of the previously existing mitochondria because it suppresses a cell biological event called mitophagy. Mitophagy would remove the mitochondria from the cells, and uh, in response to the signaling events of thermogenic activation, the mitochondria will remove. Uh, thermogenic adipocytes, especially the base ones, do have. Certain individuals have more, certain individuals have less. Those who have less have more chance to develop obesity because they have less amount of energy release. For example, uh, there is a single nucleotide polymorph, the gene of FT. There is a super enhanced 
sequence important gene expression. Those individuals who carry the obesity risk the alleles, um, transcription repressor will bind to the site, will not allowing um, expression of transcription factor that would drive white adipogenesis. In contrast to individuals who carry an obesity risk allele, only differs in one nucleotide. Pressor cannot bind there. These beige adipocytes are not active always. So if we, in a, if we are in a cold environment or if we regularly do sports or, or, or molecules that can activate, then their activity is maintained. They are always in a very warm environment. Beige to white adria, they do more fat and more fat accumulate else and then we cultivated the adipose and we found that pressed the thermogenic markers the mitochondrial marker the much lower less thermogenic and cultivate them Laboratory. Also, uh, we found this with abdominal adipocytes, and the adipocytes with obesity risk, they utilize less amount of individual genetic directly affect the function of adipocytes. So these adipocytes can make heat by a multiple reaction. Discussed previously the one mediated uncoupled replication. They can also use creatine derivative energy as their body and as I mentioned brown and beige adipocytes also generate large amount of hormones. Some of them support vascular some of them support innervation and anti. So the adipocytes are developed from a special M cell like affected by hormones, also lifestyle factors like what we have then uh, kind of factor body and the physical exercise is adipocytes. In this case, muscle cells hormones uh, are called myo. Some of these hormones support the production of the adipose, which is uh, against obesity. That's the molecular background. One of the molecular how uh, ameliorate obesity. In our lab, we also work with such kind of myokines like the eye found that if we treated the adipocytes with iris, the adipocytes started to a mediator called CXCL1 that supports uh, angiogenesis uh, generation. So if we block the action, these adipocytes produce less amount of So what happens in that case, in some cases, especially in subcutaneous, more adipocytes can be Fat at in a more healthy condition because the size of the adipocytes more or less normal. The visceral adipocytes, the adipocytes will suffer hypertrophy, die. Uh, this will result in a complete remodeling of the endocrine that would act on the entire body, including the heart, the muscles. And that with the insulin resistance. This is how a healthy adipose you can all mostly find white adipocytes with other cells. However, excess amount of fat, then adipocytes will start to be, hy be hypertrophic. Too large, they will die soon. 
some new adipose sites or as you can gain one and these cells particularly destroy the normal uh, appearance and function of the white adipose and and this will be an unhealthy adipose this process years unfortunately these uh, remove will result in a disregulated adipose so that can the appearance of unwanted mediators also fat content the dead adipocyte will access entire body especially they will deposit liver muscle cardiac muscle lipid droplets other tissue which will destroy their function that will start in the development of metabolic syndrome, sometimes cancer and cancer. So there is a circulus PCO is also this information. Blood vessel, fortunately. This cell that died that will result in major problem that will result in development metabolic adipose LC they will normal adipoc adipone and the adipose LC uh, metabolic health of the entire body is maintained if the adipocytes start to die they will produce unwanted adipoc first uh, then their lipid will be expelled to the exercise then even to the blood and these lipids will induce accumulate immune cells immune cells will start to produce inflammatory signs uh, the previously released fat will be uh, deposited in an ectopic way we call it ectopic lipid deposition mostly in the liver the cardiac or in the skeletal muscle destroying the normal function of this tissue altogether this will lead to low grade constant inflammation body also ectopic lipid deposition altogether the contribute development of insulin resistance because inflammatory inhibit in the adipose the liver the muscles particularly everywhere and that will cause the metabolic syndrome because help hypertension uh, some of the are damaging vessel walls also can affect the insulin system go together development of processes propagate each dimension adipocytes will start to decree different types of adipocytes well, the adipocytes entire body leptin resist in the, the liver metabolism of these tissues and go together the contribute also development the, the most common and um, problematic the, this insulin a lot of phosphorus act kinase the cell insulin signaling is also important driving adipocyte without in adipocyte sample genetic loss patient and case of life for this also metabolic syndrome because we cannot store our fat along the body liver in that will also cause metabolic dysregulation 
However, in case of obesity, the major problem is the period of uh, pro-inflammatory. Many signals, for example, the NF alpha B. And also, we have a infection, COVID, or and alpha B will inhibit insulin everywhere in the body that will lead to insulin resistance happens longer period of diabetes type 2 develop this insulin resistance not only happening white adipose but it also keratomas are uh, central organs Diabetes. Diabetes. Blindness. Uh, problems. Altogether, in case of obesity, take home. Um, the obesity starts to initiate unwanted events. The vital depot. What? I'll see. Adipox. Together, inflammation, hypoxia, fibrosis that will particularly destroy unfortunately we lived in the COVID pandemic. There's also obesity, one of the risk major risk severe COVID infection. Also affect immune response. Viruses themselves and all stages of, of COVID obesity is much much higher, like a five times higher risk. Um, severe types of because of the generate inflammation, particularly which. Also, lung is affected, respiratory, power, combination of problems, starting. our score. Finally, not uh, connected to positive Hungarian community. Really proud because this year two Hungarian scientists over one of them is a physicist. Thank you. Thank you for worked a lot on mRNA modifications, which help to develop the other novel types of mRNA vaccines. So our community are really proud of them. Hopefully they can continue. Access. And once again, I would like to ask, I would like to Okay, thank you for your material, so expert material and so awesome, maybe uh, now uh, raise hand maybe if you have question is your name and affiliation Okay, uh, there is a hormone which regulated the eating behavior in human, which is ghrelin. Ghrelin sends a signal ghrelin hormone effectively to achieve weight loss effect, so it can decrease obesity. 
And if there is, would you kindly explain how this therapy bio? bio I mentioned leptin, for example, that's by the adipose gland, also suppressed, right? Ghrelin also an important component of the regulatory system. It is coming mostly from the stomach. Um, there were many um, appetites, um, though they were somewhat successful, they also generated a lot of side effects. Because it was a target central nervous system, then that can cause many other problems like depression, dysregulation, autonomy. Nowadays, ghrelin can also be a target. Most common target diabetes, obesity, LP1, like PEP1 agonist. ELP1 is also a dietary hormone that, that but uh, now I that the GLP1 is the case. Targeting enter. Thank you. Hey, Mister. Uh, my name is Askia. And my question is, why is the diet target for obese suffers 20% above ideal body weight? And if someone is obese, can their body return to that of a normal person in terms of weight and composition? Thank you. Case of Complete can be prevented. Normal, but after a period. Untied up that in target the fully far. No one last a question. Uh, Yes, in countries or continents with extremely low temperatures, such as Antarctica, uh, where the temperature is minus 80 Celsius, because as uh, previously explained, uh, fat is really useful for maintaining body temperature so that organs can work properly. Thank you, sir. Especially the somewhat um, we use the field of course and low temperature production. The production is and done. Um, and if they are active, will not get obese because they will burn up fat. Because, um, oh, I don't recommend to be obese even in, in cold conditions. Of course, eat fat isolate our body from cold and also fat for the brown generate but still of course excessive amount of fat accumulation wouldn't support thermogenesis because visceral adipose tissue is not not able to produce there are special places of the body that can produce somewhat the subcutane that Abdominal cavity not able to produce that will not support thermogenesis. Okay.
Okay, uh, maybe uh, any question again? Kang dulu aja. Oh, kasihan tadi berdiri berdiri. Is your name? Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for the opportunity, sir. Uh, my name is Virus. Uh, I'm from a second grade uh, medical student. Uh, okay. Uh, so first of all, allow me to say thank you for the materials that was that was uh, well well explained. So I I say thank you, sir, for the material. Thank you very much for your kind words. Okay. Uh, so so my questions are, sir. Uh, I actually represent my friend here that were that are actually want to ask some questions. So uh, her question actually is, uh, like you said earlier, there are con there are something called uh, chronic low grade inflammation, if I'm not wrong, in this obesity. And if 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 actually there is a low chronic inflammation uh, in this obesity, then is there any chances there is a connection between uh, immunology and uh, allergy with this obesity sir that's that's my question yes there is for sure so in case of patients with obesity due to this low grade inflammation many obese patients usually uh, uh, more difficult is in certain patients and, and also there is more chance to develop uh, Asthma bronchiale, for example, or uh, certain allergic problems, mostly affecting the um, respiratory system due to the dysregulation of immune system and also obesity directly affects the lung because it's a certain need. Then the there are last upper calls about the biochemical biomolecular aspect of the obesity. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, session and gain some evaluable insight and knowledge from the Mr. RD. Uh, before we close this session, let me briefly uh, summarize the main point of a uh, takeaway from uh, the speakers. Mr. Ayer today uh, explained to us uh, and so about the obesity kind of the adipocyte and metabolism of adipocyte kind of the obesity risk allele suppress related genes on uh, area adipocyte and until obesity associated uh, interaction in physiology and immunity that amplify uh, responses of uh, SARS-CoV-2 agenda. We would like to say thanks again Ian's for active participation. See you later. Our gratitude to Miss Our gratitude to Miss make us form them all the audience here for questions and still felt less still felt less. Hopefully we look forward to you to this public lecture and welcoming and its related risk factors. So. And before we close, faculty is a certificate. foto dulu bareng-bareng sama dokter Endro. Thank
Oke, terima kasih teman-teman boleh duduk lagi ya. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of this session, hope this today lecture with will enlighten our knowledge about obesity. Give applause to all of us. Ada pertanyaan, boleh join Oh iya. Yeah. If there is any further questions, we can join Zoom at Dr. Endro lectures tomorrow. Uh, that will be announced by Dr. Indri in in e-commerce. And thank you all for your active participation. Have a wonder, have a wonderful morning. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.